Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, so I am Jessica. I run revenue marketing at Asana, and I'm responsible for our global demand generation campaigns. So if you haven't heard of Asana, we are a work management platform that allows you to communicate with and collaborate around work effortlessly. So I am super excited to talk to you today about something that's worked really, really well for Asana, and we call it data storytelling. So what is data storytelling? Well, it's telling really impactful, emotional stories that connect with your customers using really powerful data. So obviously, it's a really, really hard time to do marketing right now. People are distracted. They're scared about what's happening in the world. They're looking forward to their uh, extended summer vacations. Uh, and so it's just really hard to connect with your audience in a way that they remember and that they feel like, connected to you from an emotional perspective. And so that's where data storytelling really helps cut through all that noise. So what does data storytelling do? Well, a few things. One is it links your product to a business challenge, so a challenge that your customers actually care about. The second is it helps you shape your narrative and your story to what's happening in the zeitgeist. So in Asana's case, we talk a lot about the present and the future of work, which is obviously something that people deeply care about and talk a lot about these days. And then finally, for those of us who care about revenue, it allows you to build a really high quality treasure trove of materials that you can use for, for revenue and for leads. So according to Harvard Business School, they did a whole study about data storytelling. Uh, there's, a, there's a reason that it's so powerful. It's because it engages so many different parts of your brain at once. So the first is uh, Wernicke's area, which is the area that controls your language comprehension. The second, it fires up your amygdala, which is responsible for your emotions. And the final thing is that it fires up your mirror neurons, which help you empathize with others. And so because the combination of emotional stories and powerful data uh, allow you to fire up so many different parts of your brain, it creates this long-lasting and deep emotional connection. So we have been really, really successful at Asana at doing data storytelling to drive really, uh, really strong results for our sales team. So for the third year in a row, we have conducted a survey that we call the Anatomy of Work. So we survey 13,000 knowledge workers across seven of our top countries around the world. We create over 50 assets as part of this study, the uh, cornerstone of it being one really comprehensive global report that we use on our website as a gated asset. We also translate these into all of our local languages, and more important than translating, we actually pull key stats from each of those countries so that we can create really tailored and nuanced reports for each of the markets that we care about. Uh, this is a five-month process, and it basically covers every single person on our sales and marketing team. So as you can imagine, it's a pretty big investment on our part. So what I'm going to do is share to you how we strategically think about each of these data points and how they help us move our customers through the funnel. So the first data point that we really highlight is that employees are spending 36% less time on strategy this year than they were last year. So why is this so powerful? Well, so the first is, is that it attracts a really broad audience. So think about every single person in this room, how much you would love to spend more time on strategy and less time on execution. Uh, the second is that it relates to a very specific time frame, right? We can all remember a world last year and the year before and the year before that where it feels like every time we've been, every year we've been spending less time on strategy. And so all of us feel this in this moment. And then finally, it just highlights this really big issue. Like, can you imagine a world where you and your team got to spend more time on strategy? And what we do is we call this the page turner because like a great appetizer, it leaves you wanting more for the entree, like a great cover story, it really wants you to just like turn that page to learn more. And so we have placed this particular stat as the hero stat and image on our landing page. The reason being that we think it encourages people to ask why, 
Like, why am I spending less time on strategy? What can I learn about it? And so what we, all we want people to do from this stat is to go to our site, download our gated content, give them their email so that they can continue to engage with us down the funnel. We've even made it pop with really cool animations. You can see here we've kind of illustrated this idea that people are kind of spending less time on strategy and they're spending more time down the funnel uh, of lower level work. Uh, and so this has been incredibly successful for us in, in helping to download thousands and thousands and thousands of emails for people um, that we've been able to engage further down the funnel. The second stat, and this is actually the most powerful stat that we've been able to leverage for our materials, is that managers lose two-thirds of their workday to what we call work about work. Work about work is the stuff that we all do that we hate doing, right? So it's context switching between apps, it's uh, doing status updates, it's going to unnecessary meetings, um, and it's really draining. So this has been the cornerstone of all of our press efforts, and it has really, really resonated. Um, the reason being that it makes this, tan this uh, very intangible thing that we've all felt very concrete. Like we all know we spend too much time on busy work, and what we've done is we've laid it out and we've said this is why. These are all the things that you're doing that are just wasting your time, and of course it again, drives this really emotional response. Everybody knows how demoralizing it is to spend so much of your time working on stuff that isn't meaningful. So we call this the authority builder because what this does is it enables us to name this pain that our customers have and build this connection with them and show that we are a partner and not just a vendor, that we understand their needs and that we hopefully have a problem to have a, a solve for this problem. So what we've done with this stat is we've created uh, this really deep partnership network with leading professors and experts in fields like economics and neuroscience and organizational behavior. And we've run dozens of webinars and roundtables with these experts to talk about work about work and provide some solutions to it. These webinars have been by far our most attended and most engaged events that we've ever run. And the great thing is that they're hosted by Asana leaders, and so the credibility that these experts have is conferred upon us. Now, the final stat that we use, which is further down the funnel, is that the average worker loses almost three weeks a year to unnecessary meetings. So this stat is what we call the story conflict, because it hones in on a very specific newsworthy issue and it showcases this enormous, enormous issue. But the most important thing is that what we hope people do is say, well, what can I do about it, right? So I know that I'm losing three weeks a year. I know it's because of this move to remote and hybrid work. Now, can you give me an answer? And so we really use this as more of our bottom of the funnel content. And what we love about this is that we have a deep, deep partnership with our sales team. And so we provide our sales team with outreach emails that they can send, highlighting this stat, with infographics, with sales materials, so that when they're having conversations with their prospects, they can say, we know you have this issue. Here's the answer. And it's incredibly powerful in those later stage conversations of converting leads to opportunities. So as I said, this has been wildly successful for Asana. Um, 50 assets created, over 40 pieces of top tier media coverage. Uh, uh, we just launched this last quarter. Over a third of our leads came from just this one campaign and it's early stages, but 12% of our pipeline has come from this. So it's really worked incredibly well for us. And so as you go and you think about your marketing, your sales strategies, I would love for you to think about how do you strategically use data and storytelling together to create an emotional, long-lasting, and powerful impact with your customers. And really do that in three ways. So think about what stats you can use to grab attention at the very, very top of your funnel. Um, use really cool data visualizations. Use anything that you can think of to make that one stat pop. The second is, you know, what are ways that you can build authority? Who can you partner with that can really tell this beautiful story with you and that helps you build that credibility so that shows that you are a partner and not just a vendor. And then finally, how do you resolve that story conflict? How do you move people from intention to action? 
by positioning your solution as the answer to their problems.